Okay, this is, the name of this album is 16 Greatest Original Bluegrass Hits. I'm it, not sure that they're the greatest, but they are bluegrass hits. I used to own this on cassette tape. Uh, my mom bought it for me in the 1970s, and I played it until it broke. Played it over and over again. And it's got a lot of great stuff on it. But I'm not sure it's the greatest, but it has some great stuff. So it starts off with Doing My Time by Flatt & Scruggs. Uh, this is one of their best songs. It doesn't have any fiddle, mandolin, or dobro breaks. It's just banjo breaks. Starts off with a banjo break, a verse, banjo break, verse, banjo break, verse. So. The next song is Love Me Darling Just Tonight by the Stanley Brothers. And I do a good job of it. It's a duet and it's pretty good. That's followed by Talkin' Banjo by Buzz Busby. That's, it's an okay song. And then She's Just a Cute Thing by Jimmy Martin and Bobby Osborne. This is back when they were a duet. They weren't doing it. They had a whole band behind them, but they, they were co-leaders of the band. Then Family Reunion by Carl Story. Uh, Carl Story did a lot of gospel stuff, and this is no exception. That's followed by Walking in My Sleep by Bill Clifton. Then Footprints in the Snow by Hilo Brown. He sings it in a lower pitch than Bill Monroe does. And then Great Balls of Fire by the New Grass Survival, which... I hate the idea of the New Grass Revival, but the two songs, up until recently I hadn't heard more than two of their songs. This is one of them, and I love those two songs. This one has a really great banjo break with a long chromatic run. It's great. And they sing it in harmony. I don't know if it's two-part or three-part harmony, but it's good. So... Let's switch to side two. So, as you can see, the album cover doesn't tell you much about the contents. Just the song titles, pretty much. It's not much. So it doesn't tell me who the performers are in each band, just the names of the bands. So it starts off with Don't Let Your Sweet Love Die by Reno and Smiley. That's followed by Orange Blossom Breakdown by the Stonemans. That's actually Orange Blossom Special, or at least it sounds exactly the same to me. And that's followed by Tis Sweet to Be Remembered by Mac Wiseman. That's a sweet song there. Then Hey Little Girl by The Country Gentleman. Then Truck Driver's Queen by Maura Napier. Uh, Round Town Gals by Jim Ains. It sounds a lot like Buffalo Gals to me, but not exactly. I changed a few notes here and there. And then Hard Hearted by Jim and Jesse. It's sung as a duet, and it includes one of Jesse McReynolds' cross picking mandolin breaks, which a style he invented to try to sound like banjo. And finally it ends with Charlie Monroe's Penitentiary Blues. Now, Charlie Monroe was able to have a successful career for a while after he, the Monroe Brothers broke up, but nowhere near as successful as Bill Monroe was. However, having this be the last song on the album and comparing it to the first side of the album, if you, watch, if you listen to the second side and flip it over and hear the first side, it's a big contrast. Penitentiary Blues sounds all, a lot like Doing My Time. It's a song with the exact same theme. The, the melodies don't sound anything alike, but what they're talking about, the experience, is the same. And Flat and Scroggs do it so much better than Charlie Monroe. Anyway. It's a great album. I highly recommend it. As I said, I played this thing to death. It's a compilation, a bunch of different people. But sadly, 
no Bill Monroe shown here. That's a huge omission. Also, no Osborne brothers, though they have one Osborne brother.